Hi, folks. Uh, <laughs> uh, you won't believe what I what I did here for a microphone. I took another headset that I had. Uh, you know, kind of an old headset, and um, plugged it in. And now that's what I'm using for my microphone. I just didn't have the cash for a new microphone. Just don't have it. Um, even, oh, what do we got going on here? Oh, they're picking on one of my dudes. You okay, little guy? Oh, now I'm using Cube Mega. Hold on. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. The mod I'm using is um, Cube Mega Mod 159 version 159, and it's um, it's not the public version sort of thing, or the stable version. So. I'm just, uh, the reason why I wanted to use that, um, try to test it out. Now, the two best mods of all is, are the Cube World, or the Cube Mega Mod, and the Pyro Progression. No two ways about that. Um, the only thing is, and I just don't understand why, that they never, uh, put into their mod group the, uh, region unlock. Um, because... When you go, okay, right now I'm using the Mega Mod uh, without Pyro Progression. And as soon as I pass or pass through a another region, everything drops back down. Uh, meaning that my health, you know, goes to whatever it was uh, when I started playing on my, um, my initial region. Um... But anyway, and when I use Pyro Progression, it does drop you uh, down a bit when you cross over into a new region uh, by only two stars. But I just don't understand why they just never added in the ability to unlock the regions. I mean, I just don't get it. Like, why should I have to be punished for... Like, why should I have to be punished in order to... Uh, you know, because I want to walk off to another region. I, I've worked hard for the gear that I've got. You know? Oh, okay. I already opened that one up. All right. All right. I really do like this game. Now, I have played another game, and I did a small video on it. What the heck was it called now? Um, it's made by a bunch of gamers out there and that sort of thing, and it's it's based on Cube World sort of stuff. But for some, and I played it, but it doesn't feel right. The, the combat mechanics are bad. Uh, to me, it's like playing Morrowind. You know, you just press down the mouse key and, and click, and every time you click, you just moved your sword a little bit. I mean, that, that's the way this that particular game is. What's that right there? But, uh, you know, the more I played Cube World with these mods, um, I'm really, I've really come to enjoy it. Uh, and to and see, you know, okay, fine, it's not like the alpha version of 2013. But you, you got to put the 2013 version back out of your mind. You, you just do it. it. It's, you know, it doesn't exist, sort of thing, right? You have to keep that out of your, you know, keep it out of your mind, sort of thing. And, um, but anyway, uh, and just accept what this version is and what it offers up. And it does offer up quite a bit more than the alpha version. Um, you know, you just have to take your time with it and play it and enjoy for what it has to offer. Plus having the mods too is a big deal. Um, ooh, look at that. We've got a spawn point there. How far away is that from me? It's not too far. Now, I've been tricked into this before. 
See, that's why I'm traveling the map quite a bit. And you can always check out all the caves, you know, because uh, see, I need to get that right on top of that one. Well, not that we actually end up mattering, but yeah, we're going to head over that way. Oh, I shouldn't have closed it down that fast. Um, where was I? It's over this way, wasn't it? Not? Yeah, that's way over there. Holy moody. All right, well, we'll set that to north. And we'll just head off this way. But um, this game does have a lot to offer. And the modders out there, uh, the person who's making the, you know, the cute mega mods, and um, and the pyro progression, you know, it would be nice if they... Would uh, add in a... Add in a lot of things that the alpha version has. Ooh, those are very interesting. Those are really good things to have. Those leftovers, pick those up. Definitely. Because they're weapons and all kinds of good gear. Um, you, ha you have to have them, uh, not researched, but uh, identified sort of thing. I've gotten some good gear off of that. <laughs> See, now I've, I've, uh, the sad part about not unlocking all the regions, um, you know, like I said, when you go into a new region, you get everything reduced to pretty much basic value, right? But the one cool thing is, is that Megamon, he's added in the ability to, uh, add little bits, and this has actually been brought over uh, over from the alpha version where you're able to purchase uh, little bits and pieces like um, oh what is it called what do we have here um, maybe it'll be in here for me no I don't see it but anyway just little bits that you can add to your weapons and to Okay, if you look at my character right now, I'm going to zoom in. Look at the sword and behind them, you get the little green square and the blue square. Those are all representing different things that that uh, that I've upgraded my weapon with. And that, believe it or not, is what saved my tiny hiney when I go into uh, other regions. Um, because I'm not wearing... Ooh, there's some more left over. It's because that's the only thing that's really saving me right now. Is because my character's really not buffed out. He really isn't. You know, if you look here, I'm out here are my stats. Okay, Simon level one. Why? Why am I only at level one? That's ridiculous. Anyway, I guess it reduced me back to a level one status. I guess when I walked into uh, the new region, um, which is kind of sad, really, to be honest. But anyway, um, I do have the unlock region mod, um, but I have to start a whole new game. And uh, your save games are pretty much uh, mod locked. And if you're not careful, you will actually end up um, hurting your game save. So you have to be very, very careful. All right, so that's where I'm heading is way over here. So we'll just put that in the north. Just keep on heading over. Now, I haven't done much in the way of... Uh, and what's also really cool is that this game is RPG, right? It's not about you building things. It's about you decking yourself out with the best gear. And getting all the missions done. Talk to the NPCs, because the NPCs are very important on how uh, you, know, you actually progress and how things are unlocked. Um, where you can find some really good gear. And um, that's why you'll see me examine almost every cave. Those trolls could be a pain in the butt. But um, I like mining the ore, which is they're just nubs of ore. And you just go ahead and you beat the poop out of them until it gives up when it has the sides or anything. Um, but uh, I am going to play the game 
with just the unlock region mod, uh, which also comes with a uh, progression. Um, but she's uh, like, you know, I, my mind keeps going other directions. Uh, but Cube Mod World um, or Mega Mod, he's adding a bunch of things in there um, that are really quite good. Uh, for, for me to go through everything and tell you what it is, I just can't do that because my brains, I forget so much. Um, but he's going to be adding a whole bunch of stuff as well uh, that we would expect in the alpha version sort of thing. Uh, so he's added some good stuff in this in this mod. And um, okay, that's not the. I think. Yeah, it's right there. <clears throat> well, what's going on here? Someone's fighting somebody. Yeah. Now, I don't mind the biomes being lackluster. I really don't, because it adds to the, you know, to the charm of the game itself. Now, I have played the Alpha, and I've compared the Alpha to this version, as far as graphics are concerned, and I like the Alpha version more. How are these guys? Okay. I want to ta talk to all of these guys. Get, get all the good stuff out of Yeah, he's not going to get anything out of him. And they'll drop. Right now, they're the most basic. Uh, right now, they're the most basic uh, quests, which is go kill this many. Uh, the modder for uh, Cube Mega Mod is going to be adding quests in there. Uh, you know, more di uh, diverse quests. And one of the cool things that I happen to have done and picked up, let's hope none of them uh, there is uh, a sneaky Pete. Yeah. Bloody sneaky Pete. Um, oh, yeah, okay, I want to go here. You'll see that I have regeneration at 121.8%, which is very handy. <clears throat> My attack power is 28.3, my armor is 18.5, resistance is 12.7, critical is 3.5%, which is pathetic. But every time that you pick up and add new gear, uh, and that's why you really got to take a look at the stats on weapons and, you know, everything that you have is, is going to help you in some small way or hurt you in some small way. And... Also, how you build up your weapons, that sort of thing, like those little squares I told you about, like right there on his weapon. It's very, uh, it's going to help you out. Um, let's see what else I have here. Sailing speed 110%. That's fast. Yeah, hang gliding. I don't know how to use hang gliding properly. I really don't. Like, can, can you pitch up and down sort of thing? Like, I, I can't figure that out. Riding speed, I still haven't found a pet yet. Uh, my di my diving skills is 10 stamina. Uh, swimming speed is 50% and climbing speed is 50%. But here is what I'm mostly in. And I do. Every, my regeneration is quite high, which is saving my, my cookie here. Uh, it's really saving me. I'm getting myself, getting my butt handed to me. <laughs> Which is why I'm able to survive a little bit longer in this uh, territory. But uh, I already met up with some, with, with a um, with a oh it was, it was a nasty oh my god it was that it was a, a female warrior or something. Is it is that the last part of my uh, last video I made a cube rule, I think. And I literally got my arse handed to me. I mean it was just. It was happening so fast that I just died almost immediately. And the reason why I keep... See, whenever I start a new game, right, I immediately, the first thing I do is I buy all the jars I can, I can buy. Which is usually about, you know, if I'm not using the, uh, like if I'm using, um, I'm just looking for coins floating there, the cube Megamod. 
um, you start off with a certain amount of coin, and that's exactly what I'll, uh, I'll buy, is as many jars as possible, then hit a river or things like that, and load that up, and then collect all the hearts I can. Because the first thing I'm wa wanting to do is build up, uh, because I'm telling you, it's the only thing that's really going to end up saving me. Oh, what are we at? Well, we were picking on a little dude here. And the more I explore, the more I do, the more I'm learning the course of the game. But I find it so cool. Oh, what did I just pick up there? What did I just pick up? Iron gloves, what do I have? Uh, haste, well, it gives me, it takes away, if I, if I equip this, it's going to resistance, it's just plus 1.1. Hit points. Ooh, plus 58. Ooh, I can do that. But it takes a little bit from my regeneration. How high is my regeneration skill? It's 121. I don't like taking that away. Magic steel boots. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know if I want to go with that exceptional bone. Yeah, see, I don't like messing with great, great maces or double-handed sword because I don't get my, my speed. I need speed as, as much speed as possible. And of course, um, this is all for everybody else. So all the other classes, which I can't use, and there we go. Think. Think, think. This is definitely what you're wanting to do to here, um, is to open up as, as much of the map as possible so you can travel back and forth. All right, let's go have a chit chat with these guys. See what's going on here. I do have a nice sword, thank you. Can I hold them all, okay. No, okay, he's not going to give me anything like that. Oh, and that quest, it's just a basic quest. Kill as many as creatures as possible and get gold coin out of it. There we go, spirit bell. Nice little piece of the puzzle. Yeah, there's not much on the other side of the ocean, actually. All right, what do we got here? Let's take a peek. Let's go that way. Okay, let's take a peekaboo here. Uh, yeah, I'm way over that. But let's just pull down here. Ah, there we go. I don't think that's nasty after me, so. Now, I did come across a town that, I don't know what's causing it, but the, but the townsfolk are, uh, they're like frozen, and I have no idea what's actually causing that to happen. I have no idea. So I have to I have to either talk to some NPCs to find out. Now let's double click over here and let's see what opens up here at the worst. Thing. As far as um, see, there's no spawn. There's no spawn points here like this. So I do know for a fact there's a whole bunch of them here. There's always a bunch of them. 
but finding them can be a little bit difficult. And what I do find interesting is that um, is that they're so well hidden. You know, you you know you you would think that. Uh, okay, let's double tap. There we go, right on top of me there. Um. <clears throat> And I'm quite happy I don't have to worry about like building something like in Minecraft or you know, I'm so I'm so I'm tired of that. I'm just wanting to concentrate on my gear and Yeah. Okay. That's why if you ever watch what you know, uh one of my videos when I'm just I, there's no commentary to it. And if you see me that's what I'm primarily looking for are are uh, lone squares that I can just white tall squares, and that'll tell me. And that, then that's why you see me spend a little bit more time on the maps because I want to take a look and see if I can't find any more of these things. They do hide, but also check. You know, if you do happen to play it, you know, also check out uh, the caves too if you do happen to play the game. And I know a lot of people are angry about the about Wally and all that, and I get that. You know, I really truly do get that. Whoa, there we go. Okay. I do understand because he did promise an awful lot of stuff, but, uh, but we have what we have, right? So why not instead of grumbling? And going off with the mouth, just enjoy what we do have. And the modders out there are doing the best they can with what they've got. You know, so there are two, well, you know, like I said, two, two great fantastic mods. Um, now, I haven't found a cave system that's, that made me go, wow. And a lot of the cave systems uh, have absolutely zero ore in them. And it's a real pain in the butt because, I mean, it's, it's important that you need those things in order to build weapons. You know, to build better weapons. Um, and it kind of bugs me. Come on, big boy. Anything else? Yeah, I did my famous punch. Ooh, we got a gold bracelet. Knock him right out. There we go. Um, yeah, my character is really not that tough. Like I said, the only thing that's saving me <clears throat> is my regeneration and all the little bits and pieces that I've added to my weaponry. And, uh, I really don't have anything super fantastic here. Like famous steel shoulder. What do we got here? Um. Like artless iron chest armor. Do we have any uh, iron chest armor here? Or any chest armor? <laughs> no, see, I don't have any. Armor. Like, I'll make a little bit of coin off of these things. But those leftovers, like I said, very, very important. Because um, sometimes I can get some decent gear out of it, other times it adds some decent stuff I can make some coin on. So pick them up and always look to see what it's all about. Do an identify on them and, you know. Okay. I desperately need to figure this out. What do we got here? Ooh, that could be interesting. How far away am I from... Where am I? I get lost. Um... 
Oh, geez, if I go right there, I'm done for. Oh, I don't have my boat yet. What region am I in? Be nice if I knew where. Oh, I thought I just saw my head right there. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm going to go to the boat. Definitely, definitely. See, but if I get the boat here, that's going to take me into a different region where I don't have a boat. See, that's the stupid thing right there. In this region, I go collect that boat. That's fine and dandy. And that's great for all the other, you know, rivers and everything else. But I will not be able to use that boat here. Because it's now another region. Ah, it's crazy. And if I go here and grab that boat, you know, that boat's going to disappear when I pass over. So I'm going to have to swim that. Or purchase a boat. Now, if you purchase a boat without unlocking it in a region, it'll work for, for a period of time, and then it will just break on you. That's the problem of purchasing. It's only for a brief period. All right, so we're going to head over to the boat, and I'll show you. Um, I'm definitely not going to get involved with that uh, Ancient Ruins of Azdor. Uh -uh. That's a five-star, man. I'll get my butt handed to me so fast, it's insane. I will literally get my butt handed to me. Oh, what are these little characters? Uh, okay, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, here. A grand iron great mage. Wow. That improves everything, but it's a slow attack. It's a very slow attack. That's why I don't use Mason or anything. Um, simply because of that reason, right? Okay, let's let's go. Now, with the cute Mega Mod, there's a mod that's added to the game, and you have to turn it off. You don't want to use it. Um which puts undersea creatures in and spawns in random chests which you can get some great gear from but it's an absolute pain and it does hurt the game actually um when i was playing with it oh, i got damaged a little bit from the poor guy no. yeah i did uh, okay i better go ahead and have an apple Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything that's a food, if you're healing yourself, you have it, you have to sit still. You can't move when you're eating or drink, drinking it. But if it's a potion, you can run and drink it, which is very important, especially if you're in combat. Very, very important. Save my purpose. I didn't, I didn't uh, realize that when I first started playing, and I ended up getting my butt kicked. I kept, you know, I just kept dying and dying and dying and dying. Alright. See, every time I hit them, I feel health from them. And that's why um, I don't regenerate on my own, right? Like, I can still take damage, and I will not regenerate. I still have to. But every time I hit them, I'll regenerate. Okay, Mike, are you even close? Ooh, geez, just be careful. Man. All right, down a little way. Mm. But I do like using Pyro Progression Mod. Because you progress, you gain skill points, stuff like that. Um, and it does a wonderful, you know, a wonderful job as well. 
Hello, Stucky Terrier. Okay, they're a three star. I don't care about the stars. What I care about is the health. That'll let me know what I'm actually going up against here. Attack is called Iron Fist. It's unique to um, the warrior. Um, there we go. As long as I get a hit in, it'll help restore my health. Okay, let's keep going. See, those altars are so well hidden sometimes. Well, all the time. I don't think I've ever come across. A, twice did I come across an altar where you can respawn. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything nearby here. You'll definitely know what. Ah, uh, there we go. You've got one. Right there. Let's just zoom in just to make sure that it's not. Okay, that's not one. That's different. That's very different, but it's odd. I'm just wondering here what is that a part of? <clears throat> Put a star. I want to take a look at that. You predict how far away is that? That's just down there. Okay. No, well, that, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to jump down there for a second. Could be something unique. Um, I found something. I can't remember which video it was. But it happened to be one of the videos I, I made for Simon the Warrior. And um, I just happened to see a cave off in the distance. It looked a little different. So I walked in there and I found myself a book or something. I still don't know how I can craft magic armor. I have no idea how to do that. I really don't know how to do that. Okay, where was I heading this way? Ooh, this could be interesting. All right. That's what that was. Or well, that's what that is. Or is it? I, I really don't know. Let's just head over there and see what's going on. I'm looking at is over that way. Yeah, it's down in the. Huh. Oh, hello, little kitty cat. Oh, alpaca. Alpaca. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to go over first. What do we have here? Ooh. I could end up dying here. What? Uh -oh. They killed me right out of the gate. All because I fell inside. Ah. <sighs> well, I'm not too far away from where I need to be. Alright. Maybe that was a good time. Alright. I find that I found that really frustrating right there. 
As soon as I went into one, they swim faster than you. All the creatures swim faster than you. They just do. Um, and I know as soon as I hit the water, that's it. I'm done for. I am done for. Big boy. Alright. Yeah, that, that one was the leader of the pack. So. You're going to pick up some good stuff from them. Normally you do. Not, it's not like 100%, but... Yeah, I have to be really, really careful with this. Yeah, see, the star could be... Yeah, see, the star is way off. So, that was that. Okay, so that is that, right there. This should be interesting. See, this location here would have been revealed to me by speaking to, to a specific NPC. Or a random NPC or whatever. Oh boy. That's the dude I'm going to have to be very careful of. So put a pounding on him. Okay. Yeah, these little guys. Oh, I see that. Okay. I'm going to wipe these guys out. me out. He stunned me. Yeah, he stunned me. Little jerk. Oh, lollipop. Okay. Yeah, that stuff's for, uh, Navy creatures. I think I got everybody. Except for the big dude. Now, I don't want to engage him on an area that oh yeah you can take a bit this is how I like doing it and I just wheedle away at him I'm gonna go back to normal. Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa.
I'm not. I have no idea what I'm gonna get out of here. I'm not using any shields. All right, what else we got here? Uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff is not working. Like, it's, it, it's not giving me enough to want to switch over. What do we have here? A common fire and Yeah, nah. All of that just for that? You've got to be kidding me. Wow. That wasn't all that fantastic. Uh, okay, those are areas. Have I, have I even looked at these areas yet? I, I swore I did. Now, why would I have a star put on that? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely star work on that. Because that right there is going to be an altar. And where in the heck am I? Where the heck am I? Uh, yeah, that's another place I have to go to. Another place I have to go to. Now that's the village I was talking about that they're all um Okay, we're just gonna teleport over the thing. There we go. Yeah, the townsfolk are all uh, like they're not frozen frozen. They're well they are kind of frozen, but they're not um where the heck is the village? Okay, there it is. He is so hard to see. My little fella. And the thing is, because whatever they're going through, I can't trade with them. I can't do anything with them. So there's something obviously doing it to them, so I have to figure it out. And then take care of it. And I think it's... Uh, I. I think I did come across something saying something about demons um, causing a real issue here. So it didn't mention them doing anything. Yeah, well, well, well. they're petrified. No, 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 maybe not her. All right, no. Let's go to uh, a store. Hmm. 
before I do, I want to check this out. See, these cubes do things, right? Now, for each weapon, you only have a certain amount of upgrade slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two here on that. And I only have one of that, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on there. I only have two slots left for the sword. And then we're going to take these two right here. <clears throat> there we go. Now, you can't do anything with these. Um, I, oh shoot, didn't want to do that. Now this is where I can create uh, better weapons, but sometimes the weapons, oh my goodness, you have a funny looking fella, or a funny girl, I don't know which one you have, it's a little cute. Alright, let's, let's get to, let's get to a store here. And show you exactly what I mean. I get so messed up here. I hope I free, uh, free that. I see the the petrified or whatever. So I have to figure out why that's happening. So I can't trade. I can't do anything until I figure this out. So uh, the only way I'm going to be able to figure it out is to first talk to as many NPCs as possible. Let's check out this little dude here and see what he has to say. Yeah, well, there's nobody selling anything because they're all fine. Could be up, good that that up there could be a reason. Could be any of the reasons here. Anything could be the reason. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.